Sunrise Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Welcome back on this Wednesday. Screen time limitations have been suggested by professionals in the past, but in the age of coronavirus, a lot of kids are spending more time in front of the screen simply because a lot of things have turned to virtual learning and other things like chatting online. Joining us this morning is a clinical psychologist, Dr. Nicole Birkins, here to talk more about what parents should do in this age of coronavirus when kids are spending more time online and in front of a screen. Good Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about this. You know, we, we've heard for, I mean, years that kids are spending too much time in front of a screen. Um, but right now, they're spending even more time in front of the screen. Are you concerned? Should parents be concerned? Well, you're right. This is something that parents are dealing with and probably one of the top questions that I'm being asked. And here's, here's the good news is that this is a temporary situation. Um, and even though we're seeing a marked increase in screen time, as long as we've got some basic safety kinds of things in place, kids are going to be okay. And really the good news is that we're seeing data um, coming out. A new report from Custodio recently found that actually kids' use of screen time in digital devices is in what we would call quality kinds of ways. So they found 105% increase in homeschooling educational use and a 65% increase in online communication over video games and social media. So yes, kids are spending more time online and on their devices, but a good portion of that time is for things that, that are quality and, and supportive of their learning and development. If you're a parent and you know that uh, your child is spending time in front of a screen because they're going to school online. There's a lot of, you know, they might be chatting with their friends virtually online. Is there a healthy time limit or amount of time? Should you be paying more attention to, um, you know, maybe what they're doing with their screen time? Well, certainly this is something for parents to be aware of, but I want to also just let parents know that it's completely normal and even appropriate right now for kids to be spending more time on devices. So I don't want parents to add this to the list of things that they're already feeling really right. stressed about during this time. Certainly it's healthy for kids to be using screen time for things like learning, connecting with their friends and family, uh, learning new, act new things and activities, visiting all the zoos and all the, you know, the places that have things online right now. So I'm helping families focus more on quality over quantity. What are kids doing online is even more important than the amount of time that they're spending. But certainly if parents are noticing that their kids are becoming more moody, irritable, maybe defiant, having more behavior issues as they're spending more amount of time in front of screens over the course of the day, then that's an indication that it may be a bit out of balance and that it's time to talk about um, right. maybe creating more of that balance, having other things that they're doing in addition to screen time. Now, Dr. Dr. Perkins, do you think that parents should change their expectations going forward even once this passes in regards to screen time? Yeah, I think that right now it's appropriate to be flexible and allow for increased use. Again, especially if it's being used for quality activities like learning and social connections and things like that. I do think that once this pandemic period has passed and we're able to be out and about more in normal life, that it'll be important to recalibrate that and bring that more into balance because certainly we want kids going back to their normal real life kinds of activities. But it really is about balance that even though they're spending more time on devices now, making sure that they're also spending time doing things off devices during the right. day. Outdoor play, physical activity, right. their hobbies, um, chores, things around the house. That helps bring it into balance. And for parents to remember too that we are powerful models for our kids. It's one thing to tell kids, hey, you know, get off the screen time. You've been spending too much time, you know, right now. And it's another thing for them to look at us and see that we are constantly on screens. And that may be necessary because of work and things like that. But for us to model even sometimes during the day where we're taking a break and getting up and moving around or doing something different or having a meal without our devices there, that modeling is powerful in helping kids develop digital habits that are healthy for them. Absolutely. Dr. Nicole Birkins, uh, thanks so much for joining us virtually this morning to kind of help us walk through this. We do appreciate you coming on this morning. Thank you so much. All right, more news.